We're ready for MLB The Show's Game of the Week. It's the Texas Rangers going up against the Atlanta Braves. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. And we got a rubber match on our hands today, partner. Yeah, the final game of a three-game set. They've split the first two, and regardless of how important a series is within the larger picture of the season, it's a game you want to get up for. Every series win feels good, so we should see a fun matchup in this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started. So just about set now, and starting this one, Chris Sale. How about a scouting report on him? Comes into this start sporting a lifetime ERA just over three. He's been pretty great for most of his big league career. Can't wait to watch him in this one. Travis Jankowski stands in here, takes ball one low. In there at the knees, and it's one and one. Oh, that got that away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. Next up for Texas, Evan Carter. Oh, a little problem with his location there, ah. but now the bigger problem's at first base. Oh, Tons boy. of speed over there. He's going to have to manage the running game and right. find the strike zone. Outside corner, there's a strike. This might be a steal situation, but that's not your average right. catcher behind the dish. You have to be careful here. Got him swinging. Came after him with the fastball on 0-2, and that's a pretty good demonstration of what power pitching is all about. He's got the stuff, obviously, and that's right there, he used it to put his opponent away without needing to waste any pitches. Man, at first, one away. And it finds its way through for a hit. The throw in. The tag out. Well, it's always a risk when you're pushing for third like that. A bang-bang play. He had a chance to make it. Maybe a little better slide around the tag. But a nice job by the defense to cut off that runner. Adolis Garcia stands in now and watches strike one. Got to be careful here. This is the type of hitter that can punish you, even with pitches outside the zone. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Two outs. And that one is lifted in the air. And Acuna able to make the grab. And Garcia is out. And that'll do it. Rangers leave one. And now the Braves will get their first crack at it. Back at Truist Park. And on the hill, Max Scherzer. And as usual with him singing, I think we can expect plenty of strikeouts. Yeah, Boogie's racked up over 3,000 strikeouts in his career, so expect to see more of the same in this one. Michael Harris in now, takes ball one off the plate. This to third, Young. Slings it across, one off, one down. Here's Brian Snickers lined up for the Braves. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. Oh, there's a lot of young talent in this lineup, I think, as they gel together, gain some maturity over the course of this season. Throws to second. The tag, and they cut him down, going for two. Got to love the hustle and the attitude there to try to stretch that single into a double, but unfortunately thrown out at second base. He was so close to being in scoring position. Here's Acuna now. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Carter brings it in for the third out. And the Braves go down quietly. Scoreless after one. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the second baseman, Marcus Simeon. That one finds the zone. And that's strike one. Boog, how good was Marcus Simeon in 2023? Named a finalist for the MVP award in the American League after producing a season with 100 RBIs and 826 OPS and 29 home runs. On top of all oh, that, geez. his Rangers won the World Series. Caught him looking for the K. Well, he's got great strikeout stuff on the mound, doesn't he? I mean, double-digit strikeouts in his last start, and he's just racking them up again in this one. This guy can really dominate a game out there. Not a fun assignment for any lineup. One down, base is empty. And that's outside. And now it's even one and one. Time to look at our umpiring crew in this one. 
Kenny Jansen behind the plate. Yeah, and expect a little inconsistency on the corners. He doesn't make any wild calls, but he does give and take there a little bit, so he doesn't have the easiest strike zone to figure out, especially as the game goes on when you're expecting it to become more consistent. Typically, that high fastball, that is, that is. if it's close mm -hmm. to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's yeah. prepared for it, can get to it. Yeah. But that one just had oh, no. that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's right. internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. Two down, nobody on. That's, that's off down. the Ball mark. Two. two and one. No score here in the second. Boots it. But he wins the foot Deep race out. to first. Good job of knowing how much time he had there. Rangers go down quickly there. We'll go to the bottom of the second. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the inning. Now in for the Braves. Matt Olson. Max Scherzer back to work. Called strike right there. You almost have to feel bad for Matt Olson after what happened in 2023. He played every game, hit 54 home runs, drove in 139, led the league in slugging, and he still wasn't even named a finalist for the National League MVP award. And there's a foul ball. In all seriousness, I don't think anyone is feeling bad for Matt Olson. 2023 was a phenomenal season for him, whether he was an MVP finalist or not. That's out to center field. Jankowski brings it in. One away. Here's Austin That's Riley. Fifth, the third baseman. Austin Riley. Ball one, no strikes. Scherzer, a multi-Cy Young Award winner. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, a slurve, and occasionally uses a cutter. He's got it. And there's two down. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Marcelo no, Zuna, the, the next to hit, takes outside. Fell off to ah. a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a One chance ball. to get through One these strike. first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. The pitch. Ball. And another ball. Fouled off two and two. Two outs. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And it's a three up, three down inning. Braves go down quickly here. Back here in Atlanta. And now the DH. Ezekiel Duran. Ezekiel Duran. The wind of the pitch. That one finds the zone. 0-1. One, one. Just missed. And a pitch. Right through there for a strike. One, two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. That one fouled off. And sale deals. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. 
Really nice sequence with a quick strikeout right there. A couple of breaking balls to get ahead, 0-2. Then pump the hard stuff by him for strike three. And I like that he didn't mess around. Sometimes guys, they like to get too cute. They waste a pitch here or there, and then find themselves back into a hitter's count. But right there, he had him right where he wanted him and pitched him aggressively to get the strikeout. Waste no time there. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even oh. on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Jankowski leads off first with two down to the inning. And down on strikes he goes. And that is that. So no runs here in a base hit, no errors, and one left. We head down to the home half of inning number three. We're tied, nothing, nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here is Ozzie Albies up to him. Max Scherzer goes to work. And a foul ball. pitch that one ripped and it's a one hopper off the wall should be extra bases into second easily with a lead off double everything came together for him that pretty much split the zone down the middle and those are the ones where you got to make them pay runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game here's Sean Murphy three for eight in the series coming in Right through there for a strike. That's Off the, ball. the mark there. And a count even one and one. One one. That's down and in. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. Here in the rubber match of this three-game series. Out towards left center. Sizes this one up. Pulls it in, and there's one away. Here's Jared Kelman. Collected three the hits in the here. loss yesterday. Oh, he doesn't get the call. One, One and ball. Oh. No strike. One out, the runner at second here in the third and final game of the series. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Dives and he can't hang on. That leaves him without a throw, and they can't get the out. Back to the top of the lineup. Michael Harris next up for the Braves. Line drive. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And yeah, there's two away. So first and second with two outs. Now the number two hitter, Orlando Arcia. Arcia. Sliced hard, but foul. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. In time. Nicely done. They get out of the jam. Two left on. On to inning number four. And we're back. John Chompy with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth, Corey Seager. Oh. The shortstop takes a ball. Seager in his ninth season, 29 years old, and he's a former rookie of the year. And that one wrapped foul. Late on that fastball. Well, that's today's style of baseball right there, right? Big time velo on the bump and big time pop at the plate. Now one 
Ross caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. Here's a 2 2. Right through there. Got him. Picks up strikeout number seven. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking very much on his game in the early parts of this one, Boog. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already. So he's got a good pace going, no doubt. No. Misses just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Fourth inning underway, no score. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove side across the strike zone, especially with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to miss off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all. Right through there for a strike. Quickly in an 0-2 hole, you're going to have to give something up here in terms of power if you want to put the ball in play with any authority. And that one is inside ball one. Got him. Rangers go down in order. Nothing doing for the Rangers. Still no score. Scherzer back to work. There's a swing and a drive. And that gets down into the gap. Around first, heading for two. And it's a leadoff double to start the bottom of the fourth. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Anytime you can drive a ball into the gap the other way, it feels so good. And that's when you know you're right where you need to be at the plate. It's even better when it gets you extra bases. Got to love looking in at your dugout and seeing your teammates fired up. Now let's see if they can put up the first run of the game. You know, these Braves just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. Here's a 1-1. Hard hit in the line. Garcia pulls it down. One down. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. Right in the box now. Take strike one. You got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. All tied up. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And a swing and a miss. Two gone. Well, Boog, it becomes pretty difficult as a teammate when a guy's struggling like this. You don't know if you want to go up and tell him to keep swinging it or if you want to give him his space, what exactly he needs. But right now, it's clearly a struggle for him, and you're just hoping that somehow, some way, it'll click and he can get out of this as quickly as possible. That one is absolutely belted. Banks off the wall, and they strike first as they take a 1 0 lead. Throw to second, not in time. He's there easily. And for him, that's two solid weeks with the hit in every game. I mean, he's run his hitting streak to 14. And let me tell you, that's no easy task. This guy's grinding out at bats. Ah. He's figuring out ways to put the ball in play and just no as well do Let's it with play. some authority. That misses the zone. One and one. And 
And there's a fly ball deep right field. See you later. He flexes his power with that swing. That's his fourth home run of the series. And they add a couple more. It's 3-0. That's his third straight game with a homer, Singy. This dude is on fire, Boo. These kinds of streaks just don't come around too often. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over-anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on ball it one. and got all of it. Murphy in the box now as he looks at ball one. Second plate appearance of the day for him. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. One ball, well, there's a certain one point strike. where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. That two, one misses. Two. The count now two and two. Two out, space is empty. Just missed. Really good take, oh, yeah. especially with two strikes. Oh. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. That is the inning. Braves pick up two on the long ball. It's now 3-0. This is MLB The Show's Game of the Week. Coming up, we head to the fifth. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready now for the, the fifth baseman. inning. Here's Nathaniel, Nathaniel Lowe. Lowe. On the ground, out to short. Gathers and out. throws to first. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Ah. Let's the defense work behind him with another oh, ground Lord. ball. Good execution. And yeah, that more. skips into dirt. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. So a foul ball makes it one and two. One down, base is empty. Breaks his bat and pops it up. And a foul That's ball. Out. And a pitch. Not two, two. close with that one. Two and two. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. That ah! one, 95 to finish him off. Pretty electric stuff showing up on the mound right now. I mean, in the double-digit strikeouts, he should be able to rack up some more before he's done in this one. And you know, not many of these hitters have had much of an answer for what he's offering out there. Duran in the box now. No balls in a strike. Foul ball. Now this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Fights that one away and the count remains 0-2. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Back at Truist Park, here's the left fielder, Jerry Kelnick. The left fielder. Scherzer back to work. Swings and misses. Strike one. You know, these Braves, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. A handful have turned into outs, but of the balls they put in play, 10 have been line drives. I say keep barreling the ball and good things will happen. Don't let that get you frustrated. So the batting order yeah, turns man. over. Most Michael Harris, teams. the next to hit. Harris. They say yep. it went. Now, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. Oh, it's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Ooh. Swings through that one for strike two. Oh, two. So here's Scherzer. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. And that's downstairs and outside. One out, base is empty. Pulls 
the string with the changeup struck him out. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't no think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Garcia at the plate now as he chases after that one. Scherzer gets the punch out, and good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Now the Braves go top six, and now the switch hitting catcher, Jonah Heim. Slider clips the zone. Well, these Rangers, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times. And it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Harris has a beat on it. Drops into the glove. One up, one down. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had him eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all ah. game. Jankowski stands in oh, here. Boy. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. pitch oh. got him swinging <laughs> slider got him for strike three he had him out in front which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this known for using the entire field just couldn't sit back long enough on that one Carter in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike Sale ready. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Oh. And delivers outside. 1 2. Oh. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that'll do it. So another good inning for him on the map. Back here in Atlanta, and now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. Here we go. For the break. The right fielder. Ronald. The Acuna right hander back to work. Jr. He swings and fouls one off. So, Boog, here's an interesting fact about Acuna. He has the most home runs at Truist Park. He passed Freddie Freeman for the top spot in 2023, and I think he might hold that record for a while. Meanwhile. Activity in the bullpen. Andrew Heaney appears to be getting ready for Bruce Bochy. Dunning One, getting two. loose as well. The 1 2. Ball. Misses no. just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Well, clearly not too happy with the call there. Thought he caught the top of the zone, and you could pretty much read his lips saying, That's not up. Ah. Swing and a miss. Pulled the string on the changeup. Well, he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before. Felt like he should have had him looking, yeah, I think. But, you know, that's good composure right there. He found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. Bounce to the right. Simeon. Fires over to first. And a couple of quick outs. Austin Riley will hit next. Late right. on that fastball. Threw that fastball no right by him, What's slightly right? elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. One one. That one not close. And yeah, that's ball one. Ball Wouldn't chase that time. Back to back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence Here's level is raised right here. Two, ball. Two down, Two nobody ball. on. Here in the bottom of the sixth. Ball. Now a close rule to ball. And now three and two. Drive, base hit down the line. 
Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Manager out of the duck. Pitching change here, Andrew Heaney. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Ozuna up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. Riley off of first with two away. On the ground to third. On to Simeon. Inning over on the ground out. Took just two pitches to Atlanta. But they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Seeger, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. And a good eye there. You can tell by their swings. This lineup is having trouble gauging speeds. Timing is everything in hitting, and right now they just don't have it. Now in this three-ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. There's a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, ah. but they've not been able to commit to one velocity okay. and stay there. And a pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Left-hand batter waits. Base knock center field. And that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. In safely. It's a double at his second hit. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good. Adolis Garcia. Count. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Sale delivers just Go. off the outside edge. One ball, and that one is ball one. <whistles> Runner in scoring position. Nobody out. Here in the top half of inning number two. seven. That misses. Now two and two. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Got him. One away on the strikeout. And the runner stays where he is. A big performance on the mound. Lots of strikeouts. That was number 14. Yeah, clearly trusted his stuff in this one, bro. Feeling really good about what he's working with. And that really allows a guy to attack hitters. You know, such an important mindset to have out there on the mound, especially when you're ahead in the count with two strikes. Runner at second here, one gone. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. And it falls. Runner from second crosses the plate. And now just a two-run deficit. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out. But he got the job done right there. Nathaniel Low up to hit. And he can't come up with it. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. First and second, one out. Now the third baseman, Josh Young, clips the outside corner, and it's 0-1. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boy. With the go-ahead run at the plate here in the rubber match of this three-game series. Harris after it. He's got it. Runner tagging for third. Here's the throw, and he moves up to third. Now two away. They trust him in center field because he's capable of making plays on the run, and we saw it right there. That's a player you want patrolling center field. Someone who can attack the ball off the bat. Duran stands in with two away as he takes a ball. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. One one. That no, one misses. Too low. And it's two and one. Line to right, base hit. In to score from third. They trail by one. It's three two.
big RBI for him right there. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Ryan Snicker out of the... Now a right-handed arm out of the bullpen. Rysel Iglesias. And he comes on here for the first time this season. And I'm sure there's some nerves involved in that. So we'll see how he settles in. Next one misses. And it's a ball to strike. Right through there for a strike. One ball, two strikes. Fly ball out of the left center field. And that's the third out. So it's two runs on four hits. No errors and a couple left on. Seventh inning stretch time. It and we're back. Ozzy Albies up to the plate. And he deals. High fly ball down the left field line. Moving under this one. And there's one away. Woo, he was all over that first pitch fastball. Now, he just it. barely Catcher. missed it. Man, Go this on. guy was ready to hit. Murphy. So here's Murphy now. And a foul ball. Haney, a 6-2 southpaw. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and he occasionally uses a curve. One down, base is empty. Oh. That one off the mark, and the count one and two. One, two. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand, probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch, so two, gotta two. stay ready for it. Kicks and deals. Kicks a swing. Now it appealed to first, and he held up. Bases empty, one away. Here at the bottom of the seventh. Out to short. Tosses across the first. And that is out number two. Now the left fielder, Jared Kelnick. And that one fouled off. Two outs. Got the back going too soon and strike two. Man, this has been a real important inning in relief. I mean, so far, they've been doing a great job holding that deficit at one. That misses the zone. One and two to count. Got it by him for the K. Down in order. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now, Travis Jankowski. That one hit to right. Acuna has it sized up. Hauls it in for the out. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Carter in the box now. Takes strike one. One strike. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. There's a strike. Holding on to a one-run lead, and we're at the top of the eighth. Got him looked in. Two gone now. Well, this guy's been pretty much a non-factor so far this weekend. Very little in the way of impactful at-bats and quality at-bats, and let alone yeah. contact. That's the sixth time they've set him down on strikes in the series. So no doubt, frustration mounting and very high right now. A little out front there as he swings through it. Very solid inning on the mound so far here in the eighth. Holding on to this narrow lead. This is exactly what they were looking for. 
Looking to get the tying run on base. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. And that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. The throw in. Pulls in with a double. Third hit for him today. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down. And it's like he's moving in full speed. Okay. And everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. With the tying run at second, here in the third and final game of the series. To the right side, Albies in plenty of time to first, and Garcia is out. And that is the inning. One left for Texas. They're Bottom of the eighth, so now to the plate for Atlanta. Michael Harris. But why the kick the pitch? Swung on, belted. Carter going back. And he makes the catch on the track. Just missed a homer that time. All Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want that one back, no doubt. Arcia, uh -huh. the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. Filthy changeup right there. Just pulled the string. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. Tattooed to Tater Town and gone. He circles the bases. It's his sixth home run of the season. It's 4 2. Two pitches, two swings, that one for a home run. Looking to be aggressive all the way, and it paid off for him in a big way. Acuna in the box with one away one as out. he takes ball one. One out, base is empty, and a run in here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Ball and that's two. off the inside edge. Two, two and oh. One down, base is empty. Out there to center. He gets down a base hit. Matt Olson up to the plate. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. And it's caught for the out. Man at first, and next for Atlanta, Austin Riley, one for three. And that one hammered. That's back there. Gone! That'll fire up the dugout, his 12th of the season, it's 6-2. Sitting first pitch fastball, and that's what he delivered. He guessed right, squared it up, and he made it look way too easy. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around. Taking over on the mound for the Rangers, Carson Coleman. He's into the game with the bases empty. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Outside, first pitch ball. doesn't find the zone. Righty to the plate. Gets oh. him to chase after that one. One ball, two strikes. Two down, nobody on. Bounce it off, still one and two. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. Right hander kicks deals. Ball. And that's outside. Two and two. Two, two. Strikes. two gone. Base is empty, but three runs across here in the rubber match of this three-game series. Ball and three. another ball 
He really committed to that fastball okay. up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. Swing and a miss and a changeup in the dirt. On to first, but no chance to recover. He'll reach after the strikeout. So he's able to reach first base despite the strikeout, and that extends the inning. Kind of a tough turn of events for the defense there. Yeah, that's maybe a little bit of a morale killer for a second. You think you're about to go hit, but... Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. A gigantic blast. His second home run of the game, and they tack on to their lead. It's 8-2. Singing, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. High velocity up and in is just such a difficult location for the hitter, but this time he pulls the hands tight to the body, gets through this pitch. What conviction in that swing. Awesome job at the plate. Stepping in, Sean Murphy. Back to right. Garcia makes the grab, and that's the inning. Back at Truist Park. Now it's Marcus Simeon. The wind of the pitch. Fastball in for a strike. Going one. In the air, out towards right center. Acuna after it. Puts it away for the out. He's two outs away. Nathaniel Lowe digs in now. And that's in there for strike one. The Braves up big in this one here at the top of the night. Line drive. Makes the grab, and there's two out. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking oh. to do anytime you're at the plate. Young stands in now and watches strike one. Iglesias is just one strike away. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that is the ball game. These players just want to keep it rolling right now. You Braves bats came alive in the eighth. 8-2 eight win over the Rangers. Get yourself a sweep. You know the fans are going to be behind this clock. They've been playing really well, and these players, you can tell they feel the energy these fans bring to the ballpark. 8-2 the final here. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us for the Game of the Week. Five run eighth inning. A back and forth comeback series. Texas looked like it was about to make a run to come back. But the Braves get the big win for the AOS leaders, the Texas Rangers.